study so everybody can watch too. Hush and don't say nothing. No one's coming. Don't say nothing. Don't, don't say, say not. Three. Post it. Post with him on a gram proud. All the old time by no snitches allowed. Four. Like. Click. Laugh. Share. Follow five. Follow fashion. And fight in style. Six. Align yourself with the six. Remember we's bad man. So be bad. And the violet. Lick. Seven. Take the junction. The maximum man can get to eight. Congratulations. Wanna make it to the news. Nine. Die. Until somebody die, and we tend to our habits, ten and only then, we say, nah, them boy, them really overdo it. What we, what we really doing? What we really doing, boy? Just a touch of some of the talent that you will be able to see at Raise the Bar Secondary School's Spoken Word Poetry Festival 2023. Joining us this morning on set for the Now Morning Show are Ashley Warwick, the junior core artist, and Javon Ford, senior core artist and club coach from the Two Cents Movement. Good morning. Hi, right, good morning. Welcome to the Now Morning Show. <laughs> How are you going this morning? I'm fine. Just happy to be here. And we're thankful to have you all on the show. So let's jump straight into the conversation. Going to start with you first, Javon. Mm -hmm. What is the Two Cents Movement? Uh, the Two Cents Movement is the largest body of spoken word in the Caribbean. Uh, we do a lot of spoken word poetry. We do performances. We work with youth and just guide them along the way in literary art. Nice. And how did you get involved in the Two Cents Movement, Ashley? Um. I would like to say by talent, but I feel like they were kind of desperate when they were looking for new people. <laughs> but um, they had a call and I was like, you know what, let's take a chance. And now I'm just really happy to be here and for all the opportunities I've gotten so far. And you've been enjoying it. I've been loving it. Wonderful. Not enjoying, loving. Very important. So Javon, tell us a little bit about Raise the Bar. What is it and who is it aimed at? So Raise the Bar is aimed at secondary school students and this is a competition which kind of funnels them to being at the highest level of poetry. So kind of how there, there be national for athletics is almost on the same level. So these schools come together, they make a team, they have three rounds, three separate rounds, and they compete against each other to be essentially crowned the best team in the country. And that's how it works. It's really fun when you see all of these kids come together and put on a show that's amazing, mind-blowing even, sometimes better than the National Poetry Slam, you know. Ah. That's a big claim there. It is. That's a big claim. Well, look, clearly this morning on the Now Morning Show, lots of big claims are going <laughs> on. We are trendsetting and now we're talking about National Poetry Slam as well. So tell us, you mentioned secondary schools. What secondary schools are going to be taking okay, part? So this year we have gone to a little bit of a smaller form in the competition, but we still have four great teams. So we have Bonnet Secondary School, coached by Javon. Ah. We have Rio Claro West <laughs> Secondary School. School. We have Southeast Port of Spain, our current reigning champions mm. of RTB. And coming from the sister aisle, we have Bishops High School in Tobago. Wow, perfect. So everybody is represented. Everybody. Javon, tell mm -hmm. us, what is it like being a coach and how do you work with them? Um, sometimes it's fun and sometimes, you know, <laughs> sometimes it's just pure pressure and chaos. Um, so like yesterday, I was in a school. And part of the school caught on fire while I was coaching, so you know. Okay. That was the end of that was the end of the session. <laughs> so okay. things happen, things go wrong. But outside of that, I've met some really great children who found their way to like bigger stages mm -hmm. and continued in poetry. So I think it's a great pipeline. And just being able to touch and see these kids move in the way that they do is amazing. Let's talk about that, the longevity and importance, particularly of spoken word poetry in mm -hmm. schools. What is that to you and what have you witnessed? Um, I've seen people who are super timid, mm -hmm. like you can't talk, you're not good standing in front of crowds, like just come straight out of the shell, go on stage, do a performance, look at the crowd as if the crowd is not there in itself. So it's, it allows people to mature in a way that I don't think anything else really like there's not no other opportunity there for children to mature in the way that spoken word especially does that's beautiful because it's so powerful so we have confidence building mm -hmm. and building relationships for the future as well bringing out our young leaders such as yourself 
Yeah, I feel like what the Two Sons Movement aims at doing is not just like creating poets, but creating leaders. So much of um, students who were in like RTB years ago, they've gone on to form their own organizations. They are trailblazers in poetry right now, you know, big up Javon once again. <laughs> <laughs> so really, it's and within the movement, I think we also practice a lot in what we preach because um, the person who I run, like the social media department of Two Sons with, we were like 19 and 17 when they gave us the reins and were like, go crazy, have fun. And I think it really just allows us to develop skills and confidence at a rate at which we're comfortable. And you know, it's like we have the freedom to be and that's something that we try to promote is that expression of self and creativity. That sounds so beautiful. How does it feel to be so young and actually have that within your grasp, especially looking at, let's say, other organizations where we see all the heads running it? Honestly, it is so fulfilling. It's like I wake up every day and it's like, wow, I get to do something I love. I get to create. I get to come up with these really, really crazy ideas. And then it's like, I can put this into fruition, but also sometimes it's just be like, <laughs> deep sigh <laughs> you just hashtag sigh move on and let's yeah. get it done so where is this taking place Shabon? um this would be at the little character in port of spain on the 10th of march which will be friday coming okay and what time does it run for does this run for the entire day no it starts at 11 and should be about two hours oh, okay that's not bad mm -hmm. so enough time to engage without losing the yeah. attention span which we know can happen of course um any prizes involved in the festival Actually, what do you think? Um, so, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and this is something that um, I know we would be very familiar with in the arts industry, we pay an exposure because yes. this is an unsponsored event. Yeah. And I think this really highlights the importance of corporate sponsorships and just the involvement of the business community within NGOs that are trying to work towards holistic development of students. Because I know we promote a lot of the academics, we promote almost a lot of the sports, but I feel like children in the arts are always being left out of conversations and that inclusivity that we really want to have because I feel like spoken word is so essential to like helping them develop skills that they're going to need and when we don't have that kind of backing we can't help these children to the best of our capabilities because we could be doing so much more but without that kind of sponsorship without that funding we are left to make do with what we have and we try our best but it would be so much more efficient if we could really just have that kind of support 100 percent so what we're seeing here is an amazing event that is building the youth and it's coming essentially out of your own pockets yeah. to make it happen. Yeah. So hats off to you. So let's get some contact information. You said you were socials, right? Yeah. So let's get some okay, contact so information. If you would like to reach out to us, you can find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook at this Two Cents Movement. It's the Two Cents Movement on everything. And if you would also like to reach out to the artistic director, you could find him on Instagram at Darren Sandy Poet. So you could really just reach out there and we will get back to you very, very quickly because we are always on our phones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. Is right. Is this open to the public? Unfortunately, it's not open okay. to the public. Um, the Carab Theatre only hosts about 220. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the schools are coming and we're just trying to get the involvement from the schools mainly right now. Okay, great. Well, Javon, do you have any closing comments for Trinidad and Tobago and the world this morning? Wait, the world, that's, yeah. a, that's a big <laughs> The world ask. is watching. All right, God bless you all, and we'll see you all on Friday. Nice. Ashley? Um, just, you know, just let children be free, let them express themselves, and, you know, we'll see them thrive in the way we want to. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Ashley Warwick, thank you so much. Javon Ford, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Looking forward to seeing what comes of the 10th of March with this competition. And I know that this is something that is ongoing. So we're going to see that investment in the youth and hopefully soon also the corporate sponsorship that is necessary for this to grow. Thanks so much for representing the Two Cents Movement. And thank you so much for raising the bar. Trinidad and Tobago and the world, stay tuned. There's more coming up on the Now Morning Show after this. Thank you very much. Kind of funny. She said no is music you like. But son we prepare for punchlines. School child face get slap off on headlines. Headlines? Better watch your head top. This is a school fight and it could turn to a riot. Wrong two. No checking middle the belt. Fight a one. Brother, this, this is a school, school fight. fight. Anything goes on. You can't see not even UFC have nothing on we this is a school fight. We don't have limits. Just spelt cough till your hand can't cough no more. Wrong three. Fight. 
Behind closed doors, somebody pouncing on you. That way he on Anybody me. Anybody pouncing on me? I, I saw you don't have a clue. clue. Boy, take your time, Yeah, eh? take your time, eh? We wasn't friends, G. Where's your LC, G? We was on the same team, G. Who we been fighting for? Who we been fighting for? Who we been fighting for? Ding, ding, ding. And you winners? Nobody.